ยังต้องจอดให้อ่ะTo prepare, Pittsburghers are taking a page from pre-snowstorm mode, going after the toilet paper. The end of the line for the toilet paper and paper towels is right here. It's also the only time in history all of Disney's parks worldwide will be closed at once. The National Hockey League has suspended its season, while Major League Baseball has suspended spring training and postponed opening day. For the first time ever, ever, as you can see. If you looked around, uh, we made the decision not to have a studio audience, and this is unprecedented. The city just announced both Ultra and Calle Ocho are canceled out of precaution due to the virus. The release date for No Time to Die, which is the new Bond film, has been pushed back from April to November. Dublin also putting a stop to an annual tradition this year. The city has canceled its St. Patrick's Day parade. And now confirmation: the Shanghai race due in April is. Off, postponed indefinitely. Japan's popular cherry blossom festival has been cancelled over virus concerns. And also tonight, announcing that they'll close on campus, uh, cancel on campus classes to prevent the spread of the virus. The final two weeks of winter quarter will not be in person. Instead, they will move to online format. Columbia University is suspending classes tomorrow and Tuesday after a member of its community was quarantined due to exposure. The university says it plans to shift to remote class. Is for the rest of the week. Harvard University is taking some drastic measures to try to stop the spread of coronavirus, including telling students to stay away after spring break and for those living at the dorms here to leave by the 15th. It's a sad picture out here now that the rodeo has officially closed. You can see some of the vendors are still busy trying to pack up their booths this hour. Now the decision has not been well received by them. Tonight, a devastating blow to Austin's economy as the city declares a disaster and cancels this year's South by Southwest festival that would have brought half a million attendees and hundreds of millions of dollars. The Sanders campaign announced it was canceling a rally scheduled for tonight in Ohio. The governor has declared a state of emergency and urged groups not to hold large indoor events. Whenever we do rallies, we consult with public health officials because the last thing in the world that we will ever want to do is put anybody in danger. A short time later, the Biden campaign canceled a Cleveland rally of its own. Then also in the NCAA, the Big Ten, the SEC, and American all out canceling their respective tournaments moments ago. 